Hey guys, welcome to Allie and Coco Science Show. It has been pretty rainy today, like, like scary rainy. Colette is not a fan, but I love the rain. And one thing I really love about the rain is how different animals react to it. So, some animals need the rain, like puddle, to have their babies in, and some animals like birds like to come out and clean their feathers in the rain so it's pretty cool. Coco likes to just kind of be spooked by the rain so not so cool. I want to show you guys one of my favorite surprise wonderful spectacular animal surprises that come out when it rains and I'm gonna give you a little hint. They have one foot or paw or paw. They have one foot and they're super cute. Well, okay, okay, Coco, you're the cutest, but they're pretty dang cute. Let's check them out. Come on, Miss Coco, what are these? What are those? Don't eat them, don't eat them. No. Okay, good girl. What are they? <gasps> That's right, they are snails. Snails are invertebrates. That means they don't have any backbone. And they are, in fact, gastropods, which means stomach and foot. And I said these guys had one foot. Or paw. Or paw. You're right. And um, let me show you. So this is the Asian tramp snail, Braby Bera. I think I'm saying that right. Braby, Braby Baina similaris. And this huge you know, his little slug body. Oh, he is darling. Okay, we're gonna call him George. So George here has that big sluggish body down by my finger here. And that is his entire foot. Oh my God, he's so cute. I'm sorry, I'm freaking out right now. Let me, let me try and focus him. So the cool thing about snails, or the cutest thing about snails, are their antenna. And they have two on the top, which have eyes on them. And, oh my God, he's so cute. And then they have the two on the bottom, which are used for smelling and feeling. I'm gonna put him back so he can go do his thing. Those are not antenna, they're tentacles, hoo hoo. So they have four tentacles. The two on the top are for seeing. And the two on the bottom are for feeling and smelling. You're right, Claude, that is a little weird. It would be like having noses on your paws. It's super helpful because they're able to feel around close to the ground. What? So there's so many birds and things. There's a lot of distractions. No, she sees a bird. So they have their two tentacles on the top with their eyeballs for seeing around them. And if they're teeny tiny snails, they're gonna wanna look all around, right? And then they have their two tentacles on the bottom. Hey. And then they have their two tentacles on the bottom for smelling and feeling. Okay, well dogs do have a really good sense of smell. You're right, you're not wrong. You can smell the treats in my pocket. Here. Yep. So these two, which we'll call Diane and Jeremiah, are Rabditus alternatus, or the striped Rabditus. Rabditus. <laughs> and the reason I can tell these are different species are the shape of their shell and the different markings. Now, these two are different colors, but that's okay. They're still friends. They're still the same species. It's all how they're marked in the cone shape. How do I tell which one's a male and which one's a female? Oh, you want to shake? Thank you. How do I tell? It's a trick question because snails are hermaphrodites. That means they have the parts for both the male and the female. So when it rains, they come out and they can mate with anyone. Now I mentioned they come out when it rains and part of the reason is they have amphibious skin. Let me pick George back up, poor George. Kind of like a frog, these snails, or all snails, 
they can breathe through their skin and transfer a lot of moisture through their skin. We're, we're not going to shake hands with George. No. Oh my goodness. You're so... I can't. Okay. So they, they can breathe through their skin and transfer different moisture through their skin as well. So that means if it's super dry out, they're pretty susceptible to drying out. Mm, he's touching me with his eyeballs. He's so precious, George. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, if it gets super dry out, snails are really, really adapted to finding nice, cool places to hide and wait for the rain to come out. So, once it rains, they all come out and they all go chill with their snail friends. They eat herbaceous material, so they come out, they eat leaves, they eat stuff that's in the dirt, and they breed, and they're out of there. So, these guys are very very attached to water which is why when i went out looking for snails it was super easy george was right here we'll put him back again so we talked to you guys about snails today we talked about how they have four tentacles and you can tell the difference between species based on the shape of their shell we talked about how they're hermaphrodites and they like wet environments we've decided we want to do a little something called a question of the week so every week, we're gonna give you guys a question and you can answer down in the comments below. So, Colette, what do you think the question of the week should be? No, ew, gross. Okay, so, the question of the week is going to be, what is your favorite thing to do on a rainy day? My favorite thing is to go for walks out in the rain with an umbrella because I don't like water. What's yours? I know, I'm sorry. I'll let you watch a movie. Okay. So, if you guys learned something new today, I want you to give this video a thumbs up, and if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. Please come hang out with us. Okay, any last words? Okay, that's all. Alan Coco signing out. Bye!